Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday. Today, a pond update. As you know, I was in Japan for nine days, and uh, the day I left, it was in the 50s, and it was in the 50s for a couple days uh, after I put the fishies out. And then it was kind of in the 70s, kind of really hot, back down into the low 60s. So let's see what we got. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, let's check out the backyard guppy ponds. You can see there's two red ones, or fancy pink as Kayla would tell me. And uh, we got the gray tote over there that's empty. I never got anything into it. Everyone say hi to Goldie. Hi, Goldie. She's a lab beagle mix that was our 24th or 25th foster dog that we failed and adopted. And uh, she's an awesome dog. A little loud when she barks, but whatever. Anyway, let's talk about guppies, shall we? So there's good news and bad news with these guppy tubs. Um, little background, I put them out uh, the weekend before I left for Japan, so about two weeks ago, and it was in the upper 80s both days over the weekend, and then the next day, boom, dropped down to the 50s. And it was in the 50s at night for two or three days in a row. It rained a lot, it was chilly, maybe got into the 60s a day, and then back up into the 70s, and I was a little concerned, but good news is, both tubs, all the guppies survived. You can see the... Uh, the mix of guppies in here they're cobras and then in here we have the grass guppies blue and red one male and then four or five females in both and uh you know that's that's how it is everything survived but no fry the bad news is no fry that i can see so i guess you know it's good that they all survive but we'll see if we get fry in the next week or two uh it's supposed to be nice next couple days so everybody's doing well otherwise in here um Looks like a beetle fell in there. I don't know if they're going to be able to eat that. We'll see. We'll leave it in there for now. Probably just because I can't catch it. But in uh, this one, we have a lot of rickia and a lot of these floating plants. And same thing in here. Rickia and these floating plants. And, of course, duckweed for free. But um, this rickia has a lot of green hair algae. And I don't, I don't know what it's from. But I'm going to leave it. Um, water feels pretty nice. So... This one, I, I want to go buy some wedges from uh, Home Depot and kind of level it up a little bit. I also want to drill some holes like I did in this one, which will help it. Let's see if you can see the holes. I drilled holes in these tubs right here. So, you know, as it rains, water can run out before it overflows. Kind of want to do that here because we don't want to lose any guppies just to overflow. So this one's probably going to empty. I'm going to drill a couple holes and level it up and uh, we'll see what's going on from there. Well, you're going to stay out here in the sun? Okay. Let's go check out the other disaster. All right, fishy folks, let's go over to the side of the house where uh, I had this black pond that I told you was leaking. I filled it up before I left. I thought with the rain and the slow leak, I'd be okay. Unfortunately, total disaster. This is how I found it yesterday when I got home from Japan. Everything's gone. So uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it out. I'm going to patch the holes. Uh, the pond master told me um, a way to fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try that probably. In addition, someone from one of my local fish clubs sent me a pond repair kit. So I may try that. We'll see what happens. We'll test it obviously before we fill it up. And then uh, after we fix it, we'll fill it up and put some, uh, put some more fishies in there i may actually make this one kind of nice you know with nice floating plants and stuff we'll see how uh how motivated i get and of course over here is um a basin i found uh over the weekend before i left and i thought it was perfect i tried to sort of level it and you can see it's still pretty damn cockeyed kind of crookeder than a cat's ass if you will but um I probably will empty it out again, try to level the ground some more. You know, I'm pretty lazy. I dug a little bit over here, and then when I put it over here with a little bit of water, and it looked pretty level, but it's really not. But the plan for this one is uh, sore tails, those uh, high fin red tuck sore tails. I'm going to try those out here, and I'm going to leave the water probably about this much from the top because sore tails can be jumper. So we'll see what happens there. And uh, that's that. So. We have two tubs in the back right now, plus the gray tote that has to get filled with guppies. And then we have this one with sore tails. Then I have a 55-gallon drum, plastic drum, that I'm going to cut 
in half the long way to make two larger ponds. Uh, and then I have another 55 gallon drum I'm gonna cut in half, you know, like top to bottom so that I can, uh, I'll have two more about 20 gallon tubs, ponds outside for grow outs and some other fish. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Folks, hope you enjoyed this Fry Fry Friday pond update. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com and uh, use promo code 8K subs for $8 shipping until Monday. Thanks, guys. Hi, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday. And uh, just got a message on my phone that I'm reading. It's from Corey, so stand by. Hi, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Today, a pond update and not good news. No sir re Bob. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday. This is Michael from Michael's Fish Room. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com. Special going on, only $8 shipping on any purchase.